you are looking here at this ice making machine, I got about a minute left till cubes are ready. Um, I like the all stainless steel design. Well ventilated there in the back. Nice easy to read display. You can adjust the thickness of your cubes, keep that in mind. I think that's really cool as well. Um, it has an automatic shut off when your cube tray is full. Um, coming over to the side, you have the fan on the side. Um, I like the fans on the side instead of in the back because if you're going to set it up against something in the back, but you can see back here, nicely vented in the back as well. Pretty quiet operation. I'll be quiet here, like here. And that's right next to the fan as well. Um, it does come with a scooper here, as you can see. Uh, you can put a bottle up here on top. Now it takes a two inch diameter, um, kind of like a one gallon uh, uh, bottle that you can set up here. I have to find the right one. You can't just use like a, a standard drinking bottle or anything like that. So um, a two inch diameter. The nice thing is though, you don't need to use that. You can pull this out here, um, slides out this way um, with this ledge here. Um, coming down like that. Um, you see where it says full right there? You pour your water directly into here. I like the idea of pouring your water directly, pouring your water directly into here um, instead of in the bin area because um, that really helps to keep it uh, separated and also just really keeps, um, oops, there goes my first thing of ice down here, um, helps to keep your ice cubes uh, from getting wet all the time. You see here that the water runs um, back behind here. Here is the ice cube inside. That's what they look like. I can increase the thickness of these. These are a little hollow here. Um, these are the first batch here too. Um, so that's what they look like. I think they look good. Um, and like I said, you have your scooper here, automatic shut off, and it has a drain plug on the bottom for easy drainage. So, of course, you want to unplug it, and um, that's down below here, of course, on the on the bottom. So you just pull the plug, you put that back in. Um, I really like the flip uh, cover here as well. I think that's a nice touch on it as well. Um, you can set your, your timer and, and things like that if you so desire. Um, it has your simple on or off. Like you said, this can adjust the, the, the timer setting as well, the plus or minus, or the thickness of the cubes. Um, and it comes with a very uh, clear, direct instructional manual here uh, that tells you um, exactly what to do um, with some diagrams as well. This is in English, so keep that in mind. Um, and it even has your troubleshoot guide if you ever need it. So. Um, I'm very impressed with this. I love how the water is separated from the cubes, not sitting down on the bottom down there. Um, so I, I really like the reservoir thing up here. I really like how I, I can set a bottle up here. Um, I don't have to run a direct line, so I can set this anywhere and have it work. And as I mentioned before, the stainless steel is a really nice um, touch. Looks great on any countertop. Um, I like this because uh, our uses is going to be um, in the summer, especially my freezer does not make, um, does not have an automatic ice cube thing and doing the trays was just too much of a hassle. Um, so this is going to come in very convenient for that. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the, the ice cube maker. Now if, you know, some of the basic stats. This can make a lot of ice, by the way. You can make 45 pounds of ice cubes a day by running this continuously. Um, 24 cubes in 13 minutes. Um, the two ways to add water up on top, as I explained to you. And the basket size holds about 2.5 pounds. So, um, you know, I think that's more than sufficient. And I'm very impressed with this ice maker.